children, it's almost time to go home. Mrs. Sally has given me some crayons to sell. She is selling each box of 10 crayons for rupees 20. Does any of you want to buy them? Yes, ma'am. I want a set. Sure, Pokey. However, you would first need to answer a question on division. What would be the cost of each crayon? Uh, how can division help me find that answer? Wouldn't I need to go and ask Mrs. Sally for the answer? No, Pokey. It's very simple. Just divide rupees 20 by the total number of crayons 10. Here is the 10 times table which can help you. Can you show me that using the long division method? As the first digit is smaller than 10, I consider both the digits. Using the table I know, 2 times 10 is equal to 20. That's great, Pokey. Therefore, the cost of each crayon is 2. Yes, but never forget to write units. Here, the unit is rupees. So, 2 rupees. Ma'am, I want to buy only 5 crayons. Mikey, you and Amber could buy a box of 10 crayons together. And then, share the crayons. How much do I pay? You both would need to pay the cost of 5 crayons. Okay. Pokey calculated that the cost of each crayon is rupees 2. Therefore, to find out the cost of 5 crayons, you simply need to multiply 2 by 5. What is 2 times 5? 2 times 5 is 10. That means I would have to pay rupees 10. That's right, Mikey. Mikey, you can share your crayons with Amber. Let us quickly revise this topic. You can solve word problems based on real life scenarios using the concept of division.